everyone. Welcome to worship today. I'm so glad that you're here to see everybody here in the sanctuary. And for those of you who are joining us online, thank you so much for being here. So today is Palm Sunday, Passion Sunday. We are entering Holy Week. As we know, next Sunday is Easter. So today's service order is going to be a little bit different than what we have been doing. So um, I just wanted to make you aware of that. We're actually going to start out with announcements right away uh, before we do the call to worship. So a couple of things I wanted to mention. There is going to be a brief ad board meeting here in the sanctuary immediately after service today, if you would like to stay for that. Um, the youth Cookie baking and decorating event is happening this upcoming Thursday the 1st. So we're going to be over in the fellowship hall at about 10 o'clock. Really looking forward to this and getting to meet the youth that are around here. So I'm, I'm very excited. Um, in your bulletins today, there is an insert about the Easter happenings this week, the different Easter services. Um, so for April 2nd is Good Friday. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have Stations of the Cross set up here in the church. The church is going to be open about 9 a.m. ish to 6 p.m. ish. Okay, I'm going to have Cisna open as well. And if you're ever familiar with those self-guided tours you can take when you go on vacation, this is going to be kind of like a self-guided prayer time. So if you would like to come and pray or meditate through the Stations of the Cross, you can come anytime during that day to do so. The church will be open during that. I'm going to have pictures set up in frames throughout the church, and you can kind of just walk through and read what the captions are saying. And um, I've been told that this is a practice that's familiar to Rankin and Cisna. So that will be on Friday the 2nd. And I also wanted to reiterate next Sunday is Easter Sunday. Rankin is going to have the sunrise service at 6.30 here, okay? So if you are an early riser and would like to come to sunrise service, we will be here at 6.30. We are not doing a 10.30 service this year. I know this is different than what has been done normally in the past, um, but we still have a pandemic happening. Um, you know, we're still wearing the masks and all that, so we just didn't want to push our luck. Um, a little bit. So if you'd like to come to the 630, we will be here. If you'd like to come a little bit later, Cisna will have their service at nine o'clock. So if you would like to come at a later time, um, I will be there at Cisna. Pastor Richard will be there um, here and at Cisna. So just wanted to reiterate, we will not be having a 1030. Hopefully this time next year, we can be back to normal. That's what we're hoping. Um, but just getting back into the swing of things, coming to worship in person, you know, we didn't want to push our luck too, too much. Okay, so um, I just wanted to announce that I am going to be making that announcement periodically throughout the week again on Facebook, through email. I just don't want anyone to show up here at 1030 and have no one be here. So if you are also aware of anyone who may not have internet, Facebook, email, um, please pass that word along. Um, I'm also going to get the phones going, too, so we can make sure we get everyone covered. Okay? Um, is there anything else in terms of announcements that I have forgotten or anyone would like to add? Okay. okay. Well, welcome to everyone again as we gather together on this Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week. Let us worship together as we gather today to remember the great sacrifice our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ made for us, so we could one day be joined with him in unity and love. So as we begin our call to worship today, you can respond with the bold print. Let us worship the Lord, not just with our voices, but also with our entire being. We gather together to worship the one who is highly exalted and whose name is above every name, Jesus the Christ. Your presence demands our participation. Our worship is never wasteful. Be gracious to us, O Lord. We are your servants. Empty us for our use. We are Christ's servants, and may we be of the same mind. We declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Praise be unto God. 
And now we will sing our first hymn today, Hosanna, loud Hosanna. It is number 278 in your hymnal, or you can follow along on the screen. Please rise as you are able.
on this day, your son Jesus Christ entered the holy city of Jerusalem and was proclaimed king by those who spread their garments and palm branches along his way. Let those branches be for us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our Lord and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life. In his name we pray. Amen. And now I'm going to pray a prayer of illumination. If you would like to follow along, it is up on the screen. Almighty God, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross. Grant that we may share in his obedience to your will and in the glorious victory of his resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and ever. Amen. Now our first scripture lesson today is from Isaiah 50, verses 4 through 9. The Servant's Humiliation and Vindication. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with the word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen as, the, as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting, the Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? All of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. Our next scripture reading is Psalm 31, 1 through 16, and this is a Psalm of David. In you, Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame in your righteousness. Deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. You hate those who pay regard to worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will exult and rejoice in your steadfast love, because you have seen my affliction. You have taken heed of my adversities and have not delivered me into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a broad place. <clears throat> Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away from grief, my soul and body also. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my misery, and my bones waste away. I am the scorn of all my adversaries, a horror to my neighbors, an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have passed out of minds like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel. For I hear the whispering of many, terror all around, as they scheme together against me as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Next we will sing our next hymn, which is Creator of the Stars of Night, and it's number 692 in your hymnal, or you can follow along at the screen, and you can remain seated. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
we are going to have the proclamation of the passion story. And this comes from Mark 15, verses 1 through 39 and 40 through 47. Jesus before Pilate. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered him, You say so. Then the chief priests accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate hands Jesus over to be crucified. Now, at the festival, he used to release a prisoner for them, anyone for whom they asked. Now, a man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have them release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again, Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him. Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they all shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate Wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers mocked Jesus. Then the soldiers led him into the courtyard of the palace, that is, the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole cohort. And they clothed him in a purple cloak. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him. Hail, king of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they let him out. Our next hymn is number 289, Ah, Holy Jesus, stanzas 1 and 2. of Jesus. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them 
casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Ha! You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. The death of Jesus. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way, he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was God's son. Our next hymn is number 290, Go to Dark Gethsemane, to verses 1 and 2.
compassion, we have so many mixed feelings inside of us. We remember your son's triumphant entrance into Jerusalem with the people shouting praises and waving palm branches. And we join them with our own praises, and yet we remember, too, that this wonderful parade for your son becomes another kind of parade before officials and the booing crowds. And instead of the crowd singing his praises, they are shouting to crucify him. And our hearts are broken by those very shouts. And the pain and suffering he bore that day, and yet we know that it is because of his choosing to enter Jerusalem and taking the path he knew he was taking. There is hope, grace, love, and salvation for all. And there are still many in need of hope in our world. There are still many in need of your grace in our world. There are still many in need of your love in our world. And there are still many in need of salvation in our world. Lord, enter our lives, our churches, our cities, our countries once again today. Heal us, Lord. Transform us. Renew us. Hear our prayers we pray to you today. Draw us closer to you in this journey of Holy Week. Empower us with strength and courage and with the assurance that you are with us, world without end. Amen. Now we're going to sing our last hymn, number 504, The Old Rugged Cross. And I ask please stand as you are able for this hymn. <laughs>
You may be seated. Hosanna, blessed in the one who comes in the name of the Lord. To pray to conclude today, sustainer of the weary, we know how we sing for joy when Christ came into our lives and how we have not followed him when he leads us on this journey. We have hidden our faces from the pain and suffering of our world. We have turned a deaf ear to the cries of the poor, the hungry, the oppressed. We trust in the slick promotions of the world and not in your words that can transform our lives. Forgive us, steadfast God, and shine your face upon us. Help us to have the same mind as Christ, so we would know your promises. Help us to have the same heart as Christ, so we might serve your children. Help us to have the same spirit as Christ, so we might go wherever you lead us. Heavenly Father, help us to be grateful for the ultimate gift you gave us. Please prepare our minds and hearts as we journey through Holy Week, remembering the gift you gave us by sending your one and only Son to sacrifice himself for our sins, so we may be with you one day again. special meeting real quick. Uh, <coughs> last Wednesday we forgot to vote on the financial package for the pastor, which has to be sent into the bishop. So we need to vote on that. Chris is going to got the numbers, then I'll need a motion and a second, and we'll vote. I do have the numbers here. The numbers have not changed since last January. Uh, the package is the package. Overall, $11,500 savings for Rankin from where we were at. This is my fault. I should have had this done last Wednesday night at the ad board meeting. Due to technical difficulties, I could not get on there. I need to report that we had a motion in a second to accept this. And I got to report that to, rank, uh, to Sister Park this evening so they can go on tomorrow night. Then it goes on to uh, 